Hello, and here is a preview video for Monday, January 4th. Remember to go to the trimester two Google Classroom. As always, we start with math. So I'm going to show you the exit ticket. Well, here is our Google Classroom, and you can see that the meeting links are there. So um, here's our exit ticket. And um, there are word problems and long division. Um, when we do the problem set, you're going to be making tape diagrams to go with the word problems. After snack, for grammar for the next two weeks, we're going to do quotation marks. So the quotation marks for today, we're going to start off by reviewing or teaching the rules for quotation marks, and there are seven. And then you're going to, for the first 12 um, task cards, you're going to decide if this sentence is correct or incorrect, and you're going to drag the arrow. After 12, it switches to choose the sentence that is written correctly. So you have to check for the comma, the quotation marks, and where the punctuation is. And you're going to drag the arrow for that. And that is grammar. After grammar, you have your special and lunch. And for literacy, we're going to switch from nonfiction to fiction. So we're going to um, introduce fiction is made up. It may have some truth to it, like Patricia Polacco books are fiction. They're based on her life, but they're not, but they're kind of made up as well. And nonfiction, which we have been focusing on for the first trimester, is written to teach, inform, or explain. So fiction is also called literature, and nonfiction is also called informational. So you're going to um, read the sentence and decide if it's fiction or nonfiction. You're going to look at book covers and drag them to fiction or nonfiction. You're going to have the same book covers and decide if they're literature or informational. You're going to complete these webs by moving um, into the correct circle and for literature and nonfiction as well. You're going to type a definition. What makes a text fiction? What makes a text nonfiction? What makes a text literature? What makes a text um, informational? And then you're going to choose two books. You're going to type the title and drag the check to say if it's fiction or nonfiction. And how do you know that it's fiction or nonfiction? So that's literacy. For writing, we're going to start our new writing book, and we're going to be focusing on introductions and conclusions. You don't all have your books, so I scanned in first the reference pages of what makes a um, Introduction, what an introduction needs. And it's very similar to the Golden Bricks because we have um, a descriptive segment, an amazing fact, a quote, but we also have, well, well a statistic and an anecdote, but now we have questions. You can start with a question. So then we're going to complete our lesson one pages and we're going to read a little. Um, introduction. We're going to say what the topic is, what the three main ideas are, and then what type of lead it is. A descriptive segment, an amazing fact, a question, a quote, a statistic, or an anecdote. And there are six of these to do. And that is writing. And obviously after writing we have recess. And then we have science because we finished social studies and we're beginning sound energy. So to begin sound energy, we want a little background information. So we are going to read what is sound. I do narrate it. I read it to you. There's a vocabulary um, text feature there. And then you're going to answer these eight questions. All of the answers are right there in the text. And that is Monday, January 4th. Happy New Year. We hope you had a wonderful vacation and we can't wait to see you on Monday, January 4th.